So people who don't know who you are, tell us uh, who you are and what do you do? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm just a basement dwelling artist. <laughs> Uh, you guys have probably seen me in one way or another through some of my posts on Twitter. I do a lot of data dumping. Uh, back in March, I got involved with the whole Gamergate thing just because Take This Org had a segment on their website that said that they were funded by the government. And for whatever reason, I couldn't let that go. And here I am today, now a DEI and ESG expert on the conversation because I didn't realize so many people were actually interested in talking about it. <laughs> um, but other than that, I am actually a career artist. Uh, thanks to YouTube and Twitter, I've actually been able to have my commissions off for an extended period of time. Usually I take summers off uh, just so mm -hmm. I can focus on learning and doing animation work and stuff like that. But uh, thanks to the generosity of everybody, I can keep that closed and keep one learning for myself and two putting out other stuff, which is really cool. But I did commission work for over 10 years. Oh, wow. Um, what kind of art do you do? The only, so the, just, the only thing that I, I saw you did was that quick drawing you did of a, a, of a banana. <laughs> yes. Uh, what am I doing here? Um, so I'll draw just about anything. Uh, I'm kind of one of those jack of all trades artists. So if somebody wants something done in a particular style, I will let them know if I can mimic it. Otherwise, I've done 2D, 3D. I've done realism. I've done things like logo work. I've done brand stuff. I've done product mock-ups. I've done character stuff, like literally everything. Okay. Uh, the, the reason why I'm asking is because like I'm an artist too. And uh, I'm just wondering, like, can you give us an example of what, what you've done? Oh, you want? Uh, yeah, well, I can just give you my website. Yes, I'll, so, I'll definitely want, want to check out your stuff is because uh, uh, as like we like for, for me, whenever someone gives me their like, like, uh, what's it called again? Their, their uh, portfolio. I like checking it out and see what they do and stuff like that. Oh, these are awesome. Yeah, so these the, are all a bit older. I haven't updated my website in a while, but uh, it gives you a pretty, pretty rough idea of what I can do. And there shouldn't be any surprises. This is all ooh. safe for work. <laughs> all right, cool. All right. Yeah, so yeah, is, is, I, there, is there like a password protected one where it's like you type in the password and then oh, there's like a bunch of like BS stuff in there? <laughs> no, 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 no. I try to keep my... So this is my uh, public brand, uh, the, the savvy brand. And I've tried to be pretty good about separating my not safe for work and safe for work stuff. But when I got into crypto and NFT, I kind of said, heck it. So if you go back far enough in my Twitter feed, you can find some of my naughty work. But otherwise, ah. I don't I don't typically post it too much on this account. I do have stealth accounts um, with lots of free art and stuff like that. So. Were you part of the Deviant Art not safe for work crowd? In the earliest days, but DeviantArt went down a hill like by the time I was 16 or 17. So I kind of mm. bailed. I actually spent more time on 4chan in like draw threads and things <laughs> like that. So, okay. All right. Cool. Like, I, okay. I've gotten, well, okay. What was your weirdest commission? Oh, gosh. Uh, so I like to tell this story with a furry. I ended up turning, oh, <laughs> hang on. I'll uh, turn the camera off for a second while my dog goes out. Uh, so I, typically draw just about anything but one day a furry approached me and they wanted a uh double mm, how do i how do i put this so you know how some fish have two 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 male attachments to them this person wanted their dragon salmon wolf creature uh with a double uh fully masked <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to do this in the most pg way possible <laughs> thing with uh, two sets of boombas and the, the they were offering me such a generous amount of money so much more than i ever normally would have taken and i had to turn them down it was the, oh. the only time in my life that i said no to a particular piece of content oh man okay man. so i've 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 gotten weird okay the, the chat knows already but like I, i've gotten some weird fucking like requests before so yeah. uh i think the the craziest one I th the chat knows already was um, uh, I started drawing a bunch of like um, you know like uh, how, how would you say this uh, like damsel in distress like Daphne right mm, mm -hmm, Daphne mm -hmm. and and I did I did one of um, of uh, black cat and then uh, then pe people liked it and then this person's like oh can you do one of Daphne I was like okay it's like do you want it's like can I can you have her gagged and uh, tied up and I was like uh. Okay, sure. Uh, I did it, and he's like, "Can you like cover the rope 
from her ankles all the way to like the top of her chest and have her standing up and looking at the camera. See, that's not weird to me. That's actually very normal and <laughs> terrible. For me, for me, it was weird because I've never gotten any of those. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, but okay. The worst thing that I've ever done for myself was uh, having uh, when Twinkies were gonna go out of uh, like they're they're gonna discontinue Twinkies. This was like back in like two thousand like twelve or two thousand thirteen, and I was like, "Oh, that sucks, man." And then they brought back Twinkies, and then uh, during this time, the Minions were super popular. So I basically made a Minion having sex with a Twinkie and basically the cream pie filling was the, the Twinkie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful meme though. That's so beautiful. I love that. I want to see that. Do you still have it? I, I think I do, but it's, I, I think if I show it, because I have two of them, I have one of them where, the, where the minion is smoking a cigarette and then there's a <laughs> hole in, 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 in the Twinkie and it says, you know, that's a great cream pie or something like that. I forgot what I wrote. And the other one is literally just the minion railing the twink. <laughs> that's the one I probably can't show. Oh my god, that's awesome! See, I love I love stuff like that. Like like being to make your own memes. That's the joy of being an artist. Mm -hmm. That right there is definitely the joy of it. All right. So now, um, I do want to ask, like, how did you like get and like get get to meet like geeks and gamers and like. Be a part of like uh you know tuesday night meeting you're, you're a regular now so i'm just wondering like how did you guys meet and was it like just like gamergate stuff or was it like you guys knew each other for a while so jeremy uh dj cobra he he was the one who stumbled across uh some of my some of my um research posts the data dumps and so they initially just wanted me to come on to daily and they had me on with kirsha at the same time not realizing what that would do because she and I had already been uh, live together once on side scrollers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess he, he appreciated our style of weird. And so he asked me to come on the late show because uh, he thought that that would one do better. And I told him, oh man, if you guys are waking me up this early, I need more of a warning usually. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so then they just had me on the night show originally as a guest, and then they asked me to just stick around because I just fit in. So it's That's it's cool. been yeah no I've been I've been really really grateful for that honestly. Um, I was a Twitch streamer prior, uh, some some years ago. I took a few years off, but it was always seen as competitions. So like people who I thought were my friends, they really weren't. So my experience with you know making friends and whatever uh, online not very good. And so when when they said, you know, like, like they just genuinely wanted to hang out with me instead of like just have me on the stream because I provided content that 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 warmed my soul. So, like, I, I feel really, really good about the YouTube side of things. I didn't know it was so different from Twitch. That's cool. I, I, I really yeah. enjoy that. It's because I, I really like when you <laughs> when you and Beardle just start like going at it. <laughs> oh, my God. He's honestly I've never yeah. met somebody where like they just fit that little brother role so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am older than him, even though it doesn't look like it. My my husband actually made that comment. He's like, you can't call somebody who's older than you a little brother. And I'm like, no, his birthday just happened and he's younger. But didn't, um, didn't he just turn like 30 or something? He just turned like 28 or 20, something. No, he's like 27, I think. Yeah, he's young. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He is. But the beard makes him look older and then having the deep voice, too. But uh, yeah, no, we just have we have like a good bickering energy. <laughs> That's good. I like that. It's funny because like I I remember when I came on, it was just you two were arguing. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? And it was just like you saying that like you like show show us your legs, mm -hmm. and then he was like, oh, show us your feet. <laughs> No, it's terrible. So that that happened. That started because Jeremy made a comment. He he said, "Oh, you you need to ask Beardo about working out and about his legs or whatever." And I'm like, "Oh, is the, is this just a shtick? You know, haha. Ha, all right, sure, I'll play into it. Whatever." Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it would actually turn into something that it wasn't something. So Jeremy inadvertently set this up, and now it's just a long running gag. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, um, you did mention furries at first. Mm. Are you yourself a furry? Look, <laughs> look, <laughs> I like Law Punny because she's a very cute Pokemon. Yeah, Lola Bunny does something for everyone. Yeah, Nala given the bedroom eyes. It's a thing. I'm not a goddamn furry. Okay. All right. Now, um, the thing is, uh, 
you said that you went to PAX before, right? Mm -hmm. Are you in this crowd? God, no. <laughs> Are you in this? I can smell the crowd from here. No, I am not in this crowd. <laughs> Like, are you sure this one right here is not you? <laughs> if I was a furry, if I was, I'm not saying I've given any thought to this whatsoever, but if I was a furry, I would be a Lisa Frank inspired African wild dog. Oh, so you thought about it? No, I have <laughs> never once given a thought before nor designed anything whatsoever. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.